What's up decorators? We're going to talk today about the two header, the wood graining two header. Uh, the important thing is it has a flat top, not a pointed top. The pointed top would be for marble, flat top for wood. And then it's mounted on quills, very nice, very tightly done, and held up together with wire ties. Great quality craftsmanship on this brush. When you really want to get most out of this brush, you're going to use your metal comb and you're going to drag the hair from the heel out. You don't do this because then you'll splatter your work. You hold this stationary, you drag the, you put the, the brush right at the heel and you drag it out and it'll give you a little fine veins. The one that's made out of squirrel, this one is a little softer, a little finer. Be perfect for your walnut graining, for all your oil graining, but I use it in water as well. Uh, but more as a negative uh, 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 graining where I dip this in alcohol or water and I open up my glaze and it gives a very finer type of veining. This is the badger hair one. Very springy, works really well in all water based medium. This is mostly for positive application but you can also use a negative, in other words remove glaze with it but it works best when you do positive, when you add the glaze with it. So I'm loading up my brush, the tip of my brush, with some colors, a bit of glaze. And what I do is I separate it using again the comb to have a beautiful teeth mark. Perfect for a longer section, perfect for your pine grain, for your walnut, for your sycamore your cherry, all around a great amount of, of, of work to be done with this brush. The great thing about this brush is that when you do it correctly you could almost not tell how many times you hit the surface. It's very consistent, there's some darker lines, finer veins, uh, the interval between them are different as well so it makes it very realistic. Alright, so you, this brush can be used also in a negative method and by that I mean you just add some water so it's clean, run it the same way, open it up like this and by pressing on your surface like this you're displacing your glaze, putting a little bit of pressure if you do an oil-based surface, all you have to do is use a little bit of turpentine and it does exactly the same thing. 